Hey, so uh, now that Depeche Mode is going to be in the uh, Music Hall of Fame, I decided I'm going to go through and talk about each one of their albums. Um, they are my favorite bands. Um, and today I want to talk about Songs of Faith and Devotion. It is not my favorite album, but it is one of my favorite albums of theirs. Um, came out in 93. I love the lead singer, Dave. I love his long hair during the time. And it kind of sucks that it was like this album and his drugs and his partying that almost cost him his life at the time. So that kind of sucks. But I'm glad he made it through it. Um, so let's see if I can get the uh, the songs in the uh, the proper order. <laughs> I don't skip any. So the, uh, the first song is I Feel You. Um, good song. The whole album itself is not as dark as some of their other albums. It's more... Um, more rocky, and I'm okay with that because the all the songs are enjoyable. Most most of the songs are enjoyable. I get to that. Um, so I feel you. The very first song is enjoyable. Um, I had the remixes of I feel you on repeat while I played Quake back in like '96. Um, it just created a really really good dark background to the levels of Quake when I was playing that at the time. Um, the, the second track is Walking in My Shoes. Um, I'm not going to talk about the, uh, the, the music videos too much. Um, for this one I will because one of the guys in the music video was the fat guy from Willow. <laughs> I think his name was Verbal Cut or something like that. He just showed up randomly in the video. I don't know why. Um, but another good song. Um, Condemnation, the third song, is not as good, but it turns out it's one of Dave's favorite, the lead singer. And I don't know why. But different people have different different tastes, so what are you going to do? Um... Mercy in You, Not As Good. Um, and then the next song, Judas, is... I like the Celtic feel of it. But yeah, it's, it's a good, nice, slow song. Uh, the song after that, In Your Room, is one of the songs where I think I like the remixes better. The song that appears on the album, I don't know if... I don't know what the history of that is, but it almost feels like they wanted to do more with it, and then they did more with it with some of the remixes. Um, like the, what's it called, the, uh, the Zephyr remixes, which in my opinion adds an element to it that I really enjoy, but I've always liked that song, good song. So the next two songs, Get Right With Me and Rush, are in my opinion, the, uh, the low point of the album. They're still, they're still good songs, but they're not songs that I go to normally. Um, after that is One Caress, which is a really good, nice, slow, dark song um, that, I've, that I enjoy. And I can't remember which remix had this. But there's one of the remixes that went directly from One Caress and then went directly into um, I Feel You. So it's almost like you're starting the album over again. But that means you skip the last song of the album. And I never I never liked that. I always want, after One Caress, I want to go into Higher Love, which is the last song on the album. And I don't know if, what they're talking about. Are they talking about God for higher love I don't know but always always a good song to listen to and a good way to finish the album um, so this album had two singles or two singles maybe they had more than two singles but it had two b-sides um, death's door and my joy um, in my opinion both of these songs are excellent they should have been on the album and it feels up to me I think I would have replaced 
these two songs with uh, Get Right With Me and Rush. I think Rush and Get Right With Me should have been B-sides. And My Joy and Death's Door should have been on the album itself. Um, I like them and I like the remixes. They're just really nice, good songs that you can sing along to. Um, so, yeah, like I said, not my favorite album. That will come later. And when I do talk about my favorite album, I'll also talk about how I got into Depeche Mode. Because my favorite album is how I got into them. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Songs of Faith and Devotion. Uh, good from start to finish. And check out the remixes and check out the B-sides. Um, and I believe all of this is on Spotify. So you can listen to it all for free. Enjoy. Enjoy.